on Get in the Room Facebook. It's church on Monday. I know it's late at night, but get in this room. Tag, share, do what you need to do. Get in here quick. Come on. It's time for church. It's time for church. Share, tag. God's going to do something in this room tonight. Come on, all my praises on the front row. Get in quick. I know they reserve seats tonight. If these pastors don't hurry up and get in here. We're giving the seats away. Come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to church on Monday. God is doing amazing things in the lives of his people. God bless you tonight. God is so good. I know it's late at night, but I believe tonight that God can do something even late in the midnight hour. I am uh, Pastor Corey Mickey. I'm so excited to be bringing uh, this time to you. We are grateful for every testimony, every miracle, every sign, every wonder that has happened. People have been saved from the spirit of of suicide people have been saved in general and tonight we are grateful for what God is doing listen very quickly grab your Bibles I just want to talk very quickly before we go into the praise um, tonight we're going to praise him with everything we have first Samuel uh, the 21st chapter glory to God glory to God first Samuel the 21st chapter verse number 13 and the Bible declares and he changed his behavior before them and fiend himself mad in their hands and scrabbled on the doors of the gate and let his spit fall down his beard. I want to focus on the egg claws and he changed his behavior, excuse me, before them. Father, give us entrance into your word as we go into your word briefly tonight. God, move with power in demonstration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For a brief few minutes, I want to talk from the subject, a praiser will always survive. I want to deal uh, very quickly with the subject that a praiser will always survive. Tonight, uh, we understand where we are in the body of Christ, people of God. We are in a pandemic. We are in a crisis, and the world around us is going through something. But I believe tonight that there are people who understand the power that is on the inside of them. Tonight, I believe strongly there are people who are watching who understand the power that is on the inside of them. The truth be told is you never know uh, what is on the inside of you until you are in a pressurized reminder situation. I told the people of God who surround me a couple of years ago that we really don't go through storms. What we go through is called pressurized reminders. What they are is they are storms and situations that come that remind you what is on the inside of you. And so tonight I want to let you know that the truth be told is we are in a pressurized reminder. I know it's a crisis. I know it's a problem. It's a pandemic going on around us but this is truth that it is a pressurized reminder that there is something that has come that has got us back to God I don't know about you but ever since this pandemic has come I've been noticing that the people of God have been gathering to pray like never before had you never gone through what you've gone through you would have never known what was on the inside of you and so tonight I need you to type thank God for the storm somebody type that quickly thank God for the storm because had the storm not come I would not know. Tonight I thank God for every trial. I thank God for every test. I thank God for every issue. I thank God for every problem. I thank God for everything. Can we take 10 seconds right now? Help me for a second, Josh. Can we take 10 seconds right now and praise God for every storm? 
storm. I said, can we take the next 30 seconds and praise God for every storm? You don't need a musician. I said, praise God for every storm. Thank you for the lies. Thank you for the scandal. Thank you for every person that hurt my feelings because had it never happened, I would not know what was on the inside. It's only a pressurized reminder. David finds himself in a problem and he has to change his behavior. Tonight, I urge you, people of God, before we go up and praise, you have to change your behavior if you want something different from God. We don't come together for stuff. We don't praise God on Mondays and Fridays for stuff, for money, houses, and cars. But tonight, is there anybody that needs a miracle? We need God to work something out. God, I need you to turn something around in my family. Tonight, God, I've got to do something because I need you to do something. See, the truth be told is that there's a praise on the inside of you that has the power to get the heavens to unlock. I told you last week that if you can lift the right sound up to heaven, heaven will cause the earth to unlock your stuff. You've just got to learn how to open your mouth in the right time. But David gets in a squeeze and he decides to change his behavior. Tonight you've got to do something different. You might have to run around the house tonight. You might have to pull the car over. You might have to tell you might have to tell your co-worker excuse me for a minute. You might have to send this Facebook line to your TV so you can tear your house up, whatever you got to do. You might have to do something different tonight because the move of God that's about I said the move of God that's about to sweep through this line is going to change everything about you. David decided to change his behavior. I need to let you know tonight that a praiser will always survive. David decided to change his behavior in the midst of the people that were trying to take his life. Can I let you know tonight that not only did he change his behavior but the Bible declares that they had to remove him from the house because they said he was crazy. How would you respond tonight if I told you with the right praise your problem will get rid of you? Good God am I. I said how would you praise him tonight if I told you if you gave God the right shout your problem would evict you. Your problem got to get rid of you. Your problem has to get rid of you. I don't mean kill you but the problem says we can't hold her down. Your problem says we can't hold him down. They got rid of David because he changed his behavior but the Bible declares that he runs to a cave on the doom. He gets in this cave and the people of God follow him there but before I deal with that, I've got to deal with this tonight. The fact that you've got to learn how to open up your mouth. You, you've got to learn how to open up your mouth even in your trial. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth. You've got to learn even in your problem how to open up your mouth. You've got to learn. Uh, Josh, you're about to catch a flight. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth, put on your seatbelt, Elijah. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth. Daniel, we got to be seated because we got to go somewhere. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth. And so, Zion, tonight, I urge you to know that whatever it takes and whatever you've got to do, you've got to learn. Come on, Josh, let's have church for a minute. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth right there in the middle of your trial. You've got to learn how to open up your mouth. I know you might be in a situation, but you've got to learn how how to open up your mouth you might be in a problem but you got to learn how to open up your mouth I know you might be going through something but you got to learn how to open up your mouth while David was in the cave he had to come to his senses because he had to learn how to make his response higher than his position I know that you might be in a storm now you might be in a problem now but be encouraged to night that if you can change your behavior God can change your atmosphere if you can learn how to change your behavior God will change your position is there anybody in the house tonight is there anybody watching me tonight this is prophet I've got to change my behavior I believe tonight that there's greater on the inside of you but if you can learn how to change your behavior if you can learn how to change your behavior, God has the power to change your position. I said, if you can change your behavior, then God has the power to change your posture. I said, God has the power to change your position. 
feel God changing your situation. I feel God changing your problem. If you can change your behavior, he's the God that can change your situation. David says, I've got to change my behavior right in my store. I've got to change my behavior right in my problem. David decides to change his behavior and his problem gets rid of him. David runs to the cave and when he gets there, he has a conversation. What does David say? What does David say? David gets to the cave and he has a conversation. But what does it say? If you want to know what David said in the cave, David decides with fear in his heart. He just escaped with his life. David decides to open up, open up his heart and tell the truth. He decides to pin a response that we've been confessing since it pended. David says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. David says, I will, I will, I'll bless the Lord at all times. No matter what it looks like, I'll praise him. No matter what it feels like, I'll praise him. No matter the trial, I will praise him. Don't mind me. I know what time it is. I might be in a trial. I might be in a test. But we out of my way. I know what time it is. I might be quiet now. But they that so in tears shall, shall, shall reap in joy. You might be crying, but praise him anyway. Sick in your body, praise him anyway. That devil doesn't have the power to shut your mouth. I will. It's my responsibility. I will. I, I will bless the Lord at all times. And this praise shall Continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear that one. And be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Everybody around you has to have the same posture. If you don't have the same response, move out of my way. Get out of my way. Everybody around me has to praise him. Everybody around me has to give them glory. You cannot afford any more toxic connections. Everybody around you has to believe that God can work miracles, signs, and wonders. God will work the miracle. I will be the sign. And everybody wonder how did it happen how did it happen my testimony is God did it again God did it I said God did it again he did it again well I gotta get out of here cause I feel a praise coming in my left foot but before I leave I need to let you know that God is Taking the taste of defeat out of your mouth. He's taking the bitter taste of defeat out of your mouth. I'll prove it to you. David, he closes. 
this moment a confession and it says oh taste and see oh taste and see that the Lord is good oh taste and see that the Lord is good he's good that's why said I, a praiser will always, always said I, doesn't matter what you're going through, let your hands open up your mouth and don't wait till the battle is over, but shout, shout, shout. God is changing. Every, 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 
everything about you tonight. I know you've been praying about what's going to happen. I know you've been praying, but the Lord sent me to church on Monday to let you know tonight you've been praying, but stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord shall, 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 shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Yeah, they do no no. Old wings as eagles. I'm here to let you know. Tonight, you're getting your strength back to praise him. Tonight. You're giving your script to give him glory. Well, Zion, I'm here to let you know. I need all the praise. Go back to praise him in a moment. Do me a favor. I need you to type. I shall survive. I will survive. I shall. I shall survive. And you believe it? Say yeah. You will survive.
Sing God is 
is. God is. Everything God 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 is God is God is God is
praise him for his power. I said praise him for his power. And because he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Praise him now, 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 now. Praise him for his power. Because he's going to do everything that he said. One more time, Brother Rose. God is. Say, God is. God is. Believe it. God is. God is. Yes, God is. Mine. The creator. God is. See tonight. Glory. When I was down, when I was down, when I 
was there. He picked me up. Yeah. He did it just for me. When I was down, yes, he did. He the one, the one that picked me up. Yeah. Jesus. There's a breakthrough coming to your house. Praise him now. Praise him now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Y'all got to get out of here. We still got Friday.
you go to that. Say yeah. God bless you tonight.